The world is flooding money into artificial intelligence. Over $330 billion this year alone. By 2026, that number could pass half a trillion dollars. And by the end of the decade, we might be spending $2 trillion every single year just to keep the AI engines running. That's more than what Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Nvidia and Google combined made in revenue last year. This isn't just a tech trend. It's the backbone of what many are calling the fourth industrial revolution. From the chips powering massive language models, to the data centers that store them, to the electric grids feeding them power, we're watching the largest infrastructure build-out in modern history. It's like Las Vegas in the 1950s, all desert and dreams, or Dubai 30 years ago, before the skyline rose from the sand. That's what's happening right now with AI. But some investors are starting to ask, are we really building the future or are we quietly building a bubble? Because this optimism feels familiar. Billions pouring into unproven technologies, markets rising on hype instead of profit. Many analysts say this AI boom looks eerily like the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. Back then, everyone believed the internet would change everything, and it did, but not before trillions in paper wealth disappeared overnight. A recent Deutsche Bank report even warned that without AI spending, the US might already be in a recession. Think about that. The economy, the stock market, corporate profits, all being propped up by AI investment. And if that spending slows, so might everything else. Tech CEOs call it the AI CapEx supercycle, short for capital expenditure. It means companies are spending at record levels to build the AI backbone of the future. And they're nowhere near done. More money will be spent in the next two years than in the previous 10 combined. Two, maybe three trillion dollars. And as one analyst said, we're only in the second inning of a nine-inning game. Unlike the dot-com era, today's giants, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Nvidia, are sitting on trillions in cash. They can afford to build, but for how long? Some companies are already turning to debt markets, borrowing billions to finance data centers and chip factories. It's a risky move, because if profits slow, or if AI fails to deliver results fast enough, they'll be left with massive loans and falling valuations. And that wouldn't just rattle Wall Street, it could shake the entire economy. The AI boom depends on three fragile conditions, cheap money, strong profits, and confident investors. But if inflation climbs, if unemployment rises, or if consumer optimism breaks, this super cycle could quickly turn into a super bust. On paper, the US economy looks strong, but beneath the surface, it's uneven. A K-shaped recovery. The top half of the K, investors, homeowners, shareholders, are soaring. The bottom half, ordinary workers, are struggling to keep up. High-income households are driving retail sales, while millions living paycheck to paycheck are falling behind. And AI may be widening that divide, rewarding those who own assets and data, not those who rely on labor. According to the International Monetary Fund, nearly 60% of jobs in developed countries are exposed to AI. That means they could be transformed or replaced in the coming decade. Automation is already creeping into offices, warehouses, even creative fields. Some call it progress. Others, a slow motion disruption of the modern workforce. Still, many believe this pain is temporary that AI will create more jobs than it destroys, unlocking new industries, new tools, new wealth. And then there's China. This is no longer just an economic race. It's a technological arms race. Data, chips, computing power, each country racing to dominate the next digital frontier. That's why even if the economy wobbles, no one wants to hit the brakes. This isn't just capitalism, it's strategy. Experts say this AI build-out could last not two or three years, but a decade or more. The biggest tech investment wave in half a century. Every dollar spent on an NVIDIA chip creates a tenfold ripple through servers, cooling systems, software, power grids. That ripple might be enough to keep the boom alive, at least for now. So, is this the dawn of a new economy or the setup for the next great bubble? History suggests it could be both because every revolution starts with overconfidence and ends with correction. The real question is, which part of that story are we living right now? Stay curious, stay bold. This is Jump to Future, and I'll see you again soon.